Hello, I'm John Mallison. Welcome to Connect With Me. Today, the Aquarius Aquarium Institute. What is that? Well, it's an aquarium, but it's not built yet, and it won't be for a long time. But we have the executive director today. It's Focus on Business. When will the aquarium be built? 265-4331. Call in and ask your questions. And welcome back. Today is Focus on Business here from the showroom floor at Ventura TV. You're watching Connect with me uh, on Channel 187, Comcast, and 43.6 if you have an antenna. We want to encourage you to call in because today you might want to ask a few questions of Tom Wang. He is the executive director of what will be the aquarium here in Fresno. Not built yet. They got the land donated uh, about a half a dozen years ago, but nothing is on the move just yet. They need private money to do it. No taxpayer money involved. Let's uh, give you the phone number. It's area code 559-265-4331. Again, it's 265-4331. Call in. Ask Tom Lang a question or two about this aquarium, the proposed Fresno Aquarium over in Northwest Fresno. Let me show you an artist rendition of Phase 1. Not built yet. There it is right there. Of course, the big question is, many people have been waiting for this for a long time. When's it going to be built? Well, it seems like it's been years in the making, and it'll be many more years. August of 2006 is, six is when the Jura family of Fresno donated 10 acres of land on the other side of 99 near Herndon for the sole purpose of building this aquarium here. The project, this is phase one. We also have a picture of phase two. Uh, there it is there. Forget about phase two. That may never happen in my lifetime or yours. Maybe Tom has a different opinion about that. That's because of the cost involved. 11 to 12 million dollars just to complete phase one. And so far about 4.9 million has been raised. But even then you're talking about legal fees, environmental impact reports, and all the rest. In other words, a lot of red tape, ladies and gentlemen, to get this project uh, off and running. The building is not up. The land is donated. By the way, today, focus on business. I want to put a, just a little bit of a disclaimer up just to mention to the viewers that today we have not paid our guest. The guest has not paid us. He has come here voluntarily, Tom Lang, the executive director of the Aquarius Aquarium Institute. By the way, the telephone number once again, come on, encourage you to call in. It's 265-4331. Why is this project so important to Fresno? We'll ask Tom in just a moment. Stay tuned, you're watching Connect With Me. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency Cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool Cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. And welcome back. You're watching Connect with me, and my pleasure to welcome in now the executive director of the Aquarius Aquarium Institute. You know what? I got that name right the first time. Tom Lang, how are you? Great, great. That's a mouthful, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Aquarius Aquarium Institute. I want to encourage people to call in, Absolutely. ask Tom a question. 265 4331 is the number. When is this thing going to be built? Okay, let's start from the beginning. But the first question is why an aquarium in Fresno? We're three hours from the Pacific Ocean. This is not an oceanic area. Absolutely right, John. Yeah, we're not an oceanic area, but we have a wonderful watershed in the Central Valley. It's the San Joaquin Valley, and it's named <laughs> for the San Joaquin River. And not a lot of people realize that. But the snow from our mountains rinses down the watershed and it ends up in the delta and then out to the ocean. And you know, there's no aquarium that interprets that. There's nobody talking about the history of our valley and how we're so interconnected to water. And that aquarium will be half 
fresh water and half salt water. So it won't be just an oceanic aquarium. We'll be talking about how we're connected aquatically through the watershed that is part of our valley. So what story do you want to tell with this aquarium? I think it's the story of water in our valley. It's the story of history. It's the uh, fish and, and aquatic life that have made this valley home for centuries before uh, Europeans got here. There were, there were great, great swamps. There were huge, uh, we call them wetlands today, huge areas of reeds uh, called tule reeds that uh, housed fish and, and were the breeding grounds for many of these animals. And then our great California Delta, and there was a recent poll taken. They asked, uh, do people know where the California Delta is? And 70% of Californians couldn't find it on a map. You so, don't even know what you're talking about, <laughs> We right? need to educate our population a bit more about what water means to our state. So you're saying a lot of people that live in the Central Valley don't know their own history. That's very true. Oh you my know, goodness. They think of Fresno as being uh, just a, a dry desert. But of course, uh, back in, in not too long ago, not too uh, far history, this was a, a watershed that had great floods. There was a huge amount of water that would come down and we bring snow melt We were actually underwater at one point here, we, many centuries ago in you, this central valley, You right? go back a long ways ago, we were under salt water. They yeah. actually found fossils in Bakersfield of sharks and fish that are in the ocean. Hey, believe it or not, we have a phone call. Good Fantastic. morning. You're on Connect With Me with Tom Lang. What's your question? Oh, no, I'm talking about the aquarium they want to build, right? Yes, sir. That's right. Uh, I think uh, spending money, throwing money away. We got an aquarium on the ocean. I think we should worry about uh, getting this country up on its feet again. Boy, I couldn't, ag is real bad right now. couldn't agree with you more, uh, caller. I absolutely agree that our economy and our job situation is crucial. One of the things aquariums do, though, they do uplift the economy of an area. If you saw Monterey uh, years ago, 25, 30 years ago, before the Monterey Bay Aquarium was built, that was a sleepy little fishing village where the economy had crashed because the sardine fishery had gone away. And what the Monterey Bay Aquarium has done is revitalized that area and brought jobs to that area, not just at the aquarium itself, not just building the aquarium itself, but peripheral jobs that serve the tourists who are going to come to an area to see an aquarium. So while I agree that our economy is job one, uh, keep in mind an aquarium can be a tremendous benefit to our local economy. Any other questions? No, nope, that's it. Thank okay, you. I appreciate you calling and uh, continue watching Connect With Me. And let me ask you something. Uh, Arthur, let's put up the first uh, picture here, the 99 sign. Okay, now I want to I mention that all of this is through private donations. There you go, Tom, right? That's There's right. no taxpayer money involved, is that correct? That is absolutely right. We have not received any taxpayer money at all in terms of the building. But what we have uh, done is received some grants for our programs. Federal or and state? And there is state money that is available for that. First Five, uh, for example, has money for early childhood education. We have had a grant from First Five. The California Coastal Commission also has grants for outreach in the schools. And we've received money from the whale tail license plates. So there are a tax or government sources that we can tap into. But it's very hard to get government funding for a building unless you're a government okay. entity. Now, now the land was donated by the Jura family. Family. Now, they're, they're fig farmers, are That's they right. not? That's right. Okay, when did they donate the land exactly? A wonderful couple. Uh, we closed escrow in August of 2006. Okay. So that was six years ago, coming up next week. Put another picture up on the screen and here. The okay. uh, Jura it's family is a wonderful family that has owned this property by the San Joaquin River for generations. And you can see the river there is at uh, high flow as it is during the springtime here in Fresno. An aquarium along this river allows us to interpret the San Joaquin River, allows us to take school children, visitors down to the river to see exactly how we are connected to the larger aquatic world. Okay, so no taxpayer money involved. The land was donated six years ago. Uh, you're nowhere near uh, the 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 laying the, of the first brick on phase one is that correct well i wouldn't say nowhere near what we did in 2009 and through a process that took us about three years is that land now has been placed into the city of fresno sphere of influence and what that, does that was mean? crucial in order for the future project to be able to get water and sewer lines extended to it we couldn't do that as it was uh, originally donated to us because we were in the county 
Now we're in the city of Fresno sphere of influence, which was like an act of Congress with all the uh, studies and all the work that had to be done on that. But we passed. City Council unanimously uh, voted to put us in the city uh, okay. sphere of influence. All right. Another call here on Connect With Me. Good morning. What's your question for Tom? Uh, my question is, um, are you guys on today about this aquarium thing? Yes. Okay, wait. What I need to ask, would, would this take jobs away from the people out in the fields, the water and everything? Oh, no. The aquarium itself, uh, all the tanks in the aquarium recirculate their same water over and over again. So once we fill the tanks, the filter system is so state-of-the-art that it cleans that water and it's reused and recycled over and over again. So no, the aquarium won't take any water away from the agricultural community at all. As a matter of fact, many of our supporters and our donors of the land are farmers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you have a good day now. All right, thanks for the call. Tom, we're going to continue our conversation here on Connect With Me about the Aquarius Aquarium Institute. It's the proposed Phase 1 and Phase 2 of the Fresno Aquarium out on the west side near Highway 99 and Herndon. Back with more of your phone calls, too, in just a moment. Taking care of laundry, taking too much of your time. Have you become a missing mom? With a new efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. This Omana Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is now just $6.99, and this Heavy Duty Maytag Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is only $8.99. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. And welcome back. We want to encourage you to call 265-4331 here with Tom Lang, the Executive Director of the Aquarius Aquarium Institute, the proposed Phase 1 and Phase 2 of the Fresno Aquarium. Let's put up a picture of Phase 1 and talk about this now. There is Phase 1 right now. What's the proposed cost for this? Well, this is Arthur Dyson's design, and he's the same one that designed the Woodward Park Regional Library. You can see a lot of similarities in that architecture. We've received some preliminary quotes at anywhere between 11 and $12 million even up as far as 15 million at full build out. We can build this though in phases. We don't have to build this all at once. What we would like to do is start with the basement. What this picture doesn't show is that our basement is actually a walkout basement. It'll be below the bluff and the second floor will be the area where people will enter on the bluff out there at the river. So all right, a quick call here, Tom. We'll go back to that uh, picture of phase one. Good morning, you're on uh, Connect With Me. What's your question? Uh, question, uh, the type of, the kinds of fish that he's gonna have, and is there gonna be any artifacts around there concerning Fresno, maybe again, what it looked like thousands of years ago or any, uh, something like that, if, he's, if you're gonna go about talking about it was um it was the water was overflowed at one time we were uh, a lake and millions of years ago so uh, that's my question any artifacts and the kind of fish Great, great question. And, you know, we're always talking about what kind of exhibits we're going to have. We haven't released specific information about every type of fish that we're going to have, <laughs> but we are uh, right now working with some of the fish that historically have lived in the San Joaquin River. Uh, you know, there's a lot of discussion about salmon. Can salmon come back? Can they be brought back to the river? What a great story to tell about the history of salmon and how they were connected to our Native Americans who lived here first. So absolutely. And artifacts, uh, gosh, you know, you think about the Native Americans and, and how they used uh, baskets and how they connected with the river. That's a great story to tell. And how I'm they sure caught we, fish. And how they caught fish with these fish baskets. Exactly. Exactly. And that All would be right. a great thing for an aquarium to talk about. All right. Thank you for your call. I appreciate Thank it, you. sir. All right, Tom, let's go back to the picture of phase one, because I want to ask you, what will be in phase one? What will that building entail? How many tanks? How big will the tanks be? Well, this was designed around these wonderful exhibit tanks that were donated to us back in 09 from the Steinhardt Aquarium in San Francisco. They closed their temporary exhibit down on Howard Street in downtown San Francisco and went back to Golden Gate Park, and we got 12 major exhibits out of that deal. We brought them to Fresno, and they're going to be 
right there in that building that, that Art has designed. Roughly how big a tank are you talking about, or tanks? Well, the largest one is about 21 feet in diameter, and it is uh, probably in the neighborhood of 14,000 gallons. That's for phase one. And that will be in phase one. All right. So all well, kinds of very large fish and, and uh, aquatic animals can be exhibited. Let's change it. Let's go to phase two now and talk about phase two, a much bigger facility. Look at that. That's full-blown picture of phase two. This uh, is a lot more money, yes. and how much are you talking about? Well, this would be sitting next to phase one, so it would be a little further to the west than the phase one that will be right up against the freeway. And this one could be as much as 50 to $100 million to yeah, build. This is so going to take years as, to build. As You're much talking as we about love this idea, it's just not affordable in, in this economy and at this time. But we have to have some plans for that 10 acres. 10 acres is an awful lot of space. Monterey has a, just over three acres by comparison. We have 10, so we have a lot of room to grow. But for that phase two, what's going to be in there? How large will those fish tanks be? You, you were talking somewhere in the neighborhood of two million gallons? That's right. The, the phase two, you can see by the design, uh, and the viewers probably saw that there. Well, a we can large, put it back up. A quick. large there tank. Is. Yeah, there it is. In the very back, the largest tank would be an oceanarium holding two million gallons. You know, is Monterey's, that the largest one on the West Coast? Well, the Monterey's uh, largest one is one million gallons. So yes, it would be the largest uh, tank at, at present time. So twice as big as the one in Monterey. That's right. We have the room to do that. Okay. And again, this is all through private donations, no taxpayer money involved. Uh, you're talking about some grants. How much money do you have in the coffers now, Tom? We have, since we began back in 2000 with the Institute, raised $4.9 million dollars in cash, in-kind, and property donations. So not everybody donates cash. Some people will donate, let's say, legal services. Somebody might reduce their fees for engineering. Somebody else might uh, uh, make a cash donation to pay the engineer. That's what happened last year. So there's an awful lot of give and take from everybody in the community to make this happen. And the great thing is it's a 501c3, so all of these donations are fully tax deductible. A 501c3, for those who don't know, is a non profit organization. Is that right. correct? That's right. So I'm not building this to profit Tom Lang. Okay, does this Tom Lang draw a salary from this? I do not draw a salary as executive director, neither does my wife as chair of the board of directors. Aletha Lang. Aletha Lang is okay. the chair of our board. And our board is all local community members. They're not paid either. So, right. Uh, so at this point, you're talking about phase one and phase two that we just saw. Right. But you're not exactly sure what kind of fish are going to go in there or how the exhibits are going to be set up until you get to that point. Is that correct? That's correct. When we build that basement, that first building out there, people will be able to come out, say, on the weekends and see some of the ideas that we have to build the rest of it as we're doing that. We want the community's input. Uh, the caller talking about the artifacts, what a great idea. Yeah. These are all things that we're taking in now, and times are going to change. Uh, between now and when we finally do build it, there's going to be new things and new ideas that people yeah. have. We need to know the history of our Central Valley, we and do. water is a big part of it. There's it no is. question about it. Tom Lang, stick around. He's the executive director of the Aquarius Aquarium Institute. It's the big dream to have something bigger than the Monterey Bay Aquarium right here in Fresno, but it's years down the road, so we'll see if you can help out or others can help out. In the meantime, we're going to take a brief time out here for the Connect With Me Daily Deal with Dennis Patton. Wait till you see what he's got today. Tura TV Appliance Center. We're the go big, thin as in, flats where it's at place. The HD 3D web-enabled electronics and TV place. You following me? LG's 50-inch flat panel TV is great for sports. And the 600 hertz subfield driving virtually eliminates motion blur. Get it now for just $5.99. At the big screen surround sound, no more $12 popcorn place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. Howdy, I'm John Wallace, and I'm here to tell you all about me. MeTV, that is. When nothing else matters but boots and chaps and cowboy hats, MeTV is where you ought to be. From the Cotwrights on the Ponderosa to Marshall Dillon keeping peace and Dodge, MeTV is your station for Western hits like Bonanza and Gunsmoke, the Big Valley branded Rawhide, the Wild Wild West, and more. So dust off your boots and saddle up and visit MeTVFresno.com to learn how to get MeTV for free. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new, fast, efficient...
efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. Save now on Frigidaire's Advanced Affinity Laundry Pair. Let Frigidaire save you energy, water, and time. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. Hi, I'm Dennis Padden, and I'm on the showroom floor of Ventura TV. I'm here today to show you a great deal we have. It is a 55-inch LED TV from LG. It's a 240 hertz model. This thing has everything but the kitchen sink in it, literally. It has your internet. It has a full-size apps that you can look through from Netflix, all the way down to your sports, Facebooks, all the great apps, and you can always add more onto it. Now, the big thing is, I'm moving a little bit fast, but you see this little arrow? That's a pointer remote. No more of pushing the button sideways and trying to figure out what you're doing. And let's go down here to the main menu again. Easy to click on, easy to click off. But the best part about this one is, we want to be cool today with 3D. This is a full-size 3D TV, and the best part is, is you don't need a DVD player, you don't need a DVD movies in 3D. This will do it for you. This will turn any program that you put on this TV to from 2D to full 3D. So you can watch our show in 3D. You can watch the news, you can watch your sports, you can watch your favorite movie, you can watch cartoons in 3D. But anyway, let's talk about the price today. Let's shut this off real quick. Our price normally is $26.99 on the floor. We have it on sale for $2,499. But for Connect With Me viewers, till tomorrow, $1,999 for you guys. And that is a heck of a deal. And that is our super daily deal for today. Just come down and see us because we also have this at a 65-inch TV. Dennis, do the glasses come with it, the 3D glasses you're wearing? Yeah, that's also super cool. You get four pairs. That means for you folks and the kids, at least two kids. But if you need some more, we do have them. Uh, Dennis looks really cool like he's going out to the island water park, doesn't he, in those shades? Anyway, that's the Daily Deal, and we're going to be back with more of our interview with Tom Lang, the executive director of the proposed Fresno Aquarium, in just a moment. The Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. <laughs> When I sneeze, I'll try to sneeze more friendly. <laughs> and welcome back here to Connect With Me. We do have a phone call for Tom Lang. You ready for this? Great. All right. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me with Tom Lang. What's your question? Hi. Yeah, I have a maybe a suggestion or two sure Be because uh when i take up my kids and grandkids and go fishing it's, it's almost cost me like a hundred bucks and we may not even catch nothing and whereas they have the extra uh land out there i think that they maybe built a fishing park where the people go and fish and picnic and stuff and uh and they could pay to do this but they're their payment could be tax deductible because it's for a nonprofit. That's what do you think, Tom? Interesting idea. A little fishing hole there, like Andy Griffith. You yeah, know? there <laughs> you go. Well, the river's right there, and I and I have to tell you, we have an awful lot of people that come down and fish right now. I mean, it's uh, technically trespassing, but we don't. 
<laughs> we don't have a fence around the place. Do so we really want to get into that? <laughs> people, people, yeah, don't go down there. But uh, we have a, a tremendous resource in the San Joaquin River, and certainly for fishing. We do have to be careful of those salmon, though, because uh, those are, are protected. But, uh, no, what a great opportunity. What a great idea. Thank you for, for that. Because, and then if you cook your, if you had a way to cook the fish, the people caught, and, and they would pay for their dinner, and that would be tax deductible too. That, that's great. You know, a little barbecue. Almost like an educational and, process. You're uh -huh. catching the fish. Yeah. And now you're showing the children or whoever how to cook. That's right. And yeah. a whole experience for the family. I, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. And they could have a little fish fry. There you and go. It's all tax deductible. You know, See, that, that's a, a great way to raise funds, too, on that property that is so close to the river. We'll just have to talk to Fish and Game about what the legalities are of that. Yeah, you'll have to have a suggestion box. Everybody yes. can put their ideas in. That's great. Yeah. All right. Thanks for your call. I appreciate it. Anyway, let's, let's put up on the screen another uh, picture that we have here, and you can talk about this, uh, Tom. We know this is uh, a project you've been working on for a long time. What are we looking at here? Well, we do have outreach programs going on now in the school. So even though the aquarium is not yet built, we go out to classrooms all up and down the San Joaquin Valley, all throughout Fresno, Madera, Kings, Tulare, even Merced counties. That's a starfish, huh? And that's a sea star. Yes, yeah, scientists are trying to get us to call them sea stars now okay, because okay. they're not fish. All right. But uh, <laughs> the kids get to touch it, and they get to experience a little bit of the California coast here in Fresno. It really is great. All right, another phone call. Good morning. What's your question for Tom? Uh, are we on the air? Yeah, go ahead. What's your question, sir? Okay. Quickly. Uh, all right, I've seen his eyes light up when, when they talked about salmon. Okay, we've been trying to get salmon to come up into that river for, oh, God, ever since they got left out of the river up there to go spawn. Well, I know people that got property just a little ways up the river, that uh, he's trying to get a gravel permit for quite a few years. Um, he would donate sand and gravel for his project. Okay. Oh, that's a that's a wonderful right. offer. Yeah, you never know. Now, our own site used to be a sand and gravel mine. Mm -hmm. They actually yeah, all, went all, through and all, all, all yeah. of that. It's all sand and gravel. Yeah, that whole there. area in there is the same. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's good to know, and uh, any anybody like that should definitely contact us through the Fresno Aquarium. Uh, we are on the internet, FresnoAquarium.org, and you just click contact us, and away you go. Uh, Great. I, I, I've I've seen the sign up for many many years. Many many years. <laughs> and you know what? You'll probably see it for many many more That's years. Right. We got to get the donations in, well, but. Uh, yeah, you know. I, I have some people that would that would donate their their work skills in the, the manufacturing of the building. That's great. Oh, I appreciate uh, that. People, I, people from Malden Duffmeyer, yeah. uh, steel structures, uh, me, and also I, I have an idea how they could get the fish up over the dam without tearing it out. Ah, oh, oh, great. And yep. from well, and from the delta up to there. Wow. Well, I, well I, that's I, what they're that trying to do. Probably as much as you guys have. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate your phone call. We're running quickly out of time here, but continue uh, watching, and uh, thanks for the, the, the input. I much appreciate it. How, how, how could I get a hold of you uh, off air? Be best thing to do is go to FresnoAquarium.org and send me an email. Uh, I, I'm... Uh, FresnoAquarium.org and send Tom an email. We're out of time, so we're going to get cut off the air if we don't go, but I appreciate your, your call. This Thank is you. how we're raising the money. Yeah. This Quickly is it. Quickly tell me, you have an aquarium business on the side. That's what you do for a living. Well, actually, that was first. Yeah, we, we, since 1980, we've been installing and maintaining small aquariums throughout Fresno, and some of them not so small, 300-plus gallons. But, but that's what you do That's now. our living. That's how we make our living. This is our nonprofit project for the community. Tom Lang, good luck to you. Thank Come you. back again. Thank you, you so much. You sparked a lot of interest, a lot of people here. Thank that's you. our show for today. Back with more of Connect With Me tomorrow. And Harold Cardwell, Ask the Expert. He's an insurance man. See you tomorrow.